welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a create some challenge. So today we are doing the rainbow sim challenge. So basically make seven sims, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. No, the wrong one. Oh shoot. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. My bad. That's the real rainbow. It's not the real rainbow. The one that the other one's the real. You get the point. Anyways. So basically you make some sims and I'm going to do that today. So, um, I'm such an idiot because basically I said to myself, I was like, oh my God, I've got no videos to post. Um, I haven't posted in days. I'm going to need to do a really quick video so I can get it for you guys. And you know what I decided to do? You know what I decided to do? I decided to make seven sims because I'm an idiot. So um, we make seven sims today. And um, idiocy, idiocy is who I am. Who I am inside, in my heart, in my chest, you know? Because I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I decided to do this. But anyway, so these sims are honest to God. Like, I feel like I say this every single time. <laughs> I know I do. But I feel like these sims are honestly some of the best sims ever made. And like, I don't mean that in like a, I just, I don't know what it is. They just, they're so unique to my sims, I feel like. I mean, at least I tried anyways. I <laughs> mean, you guys probably watch it thinking, mm, Lana, what are you thinking? These all, these all look the exact same. But I feel like I really tried to venture out with like especially different jawlines, different chins, and different eye shapes was like the biggest things that I tried. Also lip shapes. I don't know. I just tried like loads of different stuff that I never normally do for Sims. And also the main thing that I changed up for these Sims is the aesthetic. So I always go for alternative aesthetics. Even if it's like ever such like little alternative or like full alternative, it's always that kind of aesthetic every single time I make a Sim. And I've kind of noticed that I do it a lot recently. Like I know I always do, but I feel like as of lately, I've kind of noticed a bit more on my like that I do it and like I kind of don't like that that I only do like one specific aesthetic or like one genre of aesthetic so I was like you know what with these sims I'm gonna venture out and you know what? I feel like I really did and I feel like you guys should be proud of me because I honestly feel like I really tried my best to do different aesthetics for these sims and like I feel like I've done aesthetics I've never done before and like different things that I've never tried out that I really tried to do and I was just really proud of myself so we're starting off with red and honestly they all have individual names but honestly I could not tell you what they are um I'm an idiot so here we are but I went with red sim first obviously makes sense it's the rainbow whatever darling um but for this sim i kind of wanted to go for like a model so like i could picture her trotting down the runway uh mm, mm, you know cat kitty cat cat kitty cat cat no sorry anyways um but like <laughs> but like sorry i've been watching too much drag race darling um but i i really like it like like kind of like a gucci model that's kind of what i wanted to go for and like she has bleached eyebrows which first of all i know i do a lot lately and like no eyebrows i know i do that a lot but i just have a real thing for no eyebrows or bleached eyebrows lately like it's just my thing you know and like i feel like it's very uncommon and i I love it. So it's like a really unique feature that I love doing on all my Sims lately. So please ignore that. But I swear I'm unique in other ways today. So um yeah, I just wanted to go for like a very sort of chic vibe for this first sim. And I never do that. I always go for like grunge or like, you know, it's like a bit of a, like a messier st style. But I actually went for something that's like a bit more like bow, you know? Kazow, bam. I don't know. What are the other ways of saying pow? But you get the point. So I went with. Oh, her name's Ray. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that, guys. Don't worry. Um, I went with like this really cute hair, which is by I don't know. <laughs> You'll see in the comments in the description. Sorry. Also, yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm doing a full CC list as well. Like, who am I kidding? I was literally out here saying like I have no videos to post. So I was like, like literally, I like posting one or two Sims, but for some reason, my idiot idiotic little brain decides, mm, no, you're gonna do seven instead because like I just couldn't think of a challenge that I wanted to do. For some reason, this. Challenge challenge is one of my favorites. I did it a few months ago, actually. I think it's about four months ago. I actually looked at that video today and not going to lie, my voice, mm, babes, what were you thinking? I did not know why, but for some reason, my mic quality just sounded so much worse. And like, I just feel like my voice sounded different. I feel like that's one of those things where like, you know, okay, it's like in life, right? It's like, you look, you always look back at a part, like a version of you a few months ago and cringe. Like, I feel like I've never not looked back at a few months ago, me and not cringe. Like I look at my old videos, even from like a month ago and I cringe. And I know that in a month's time, I'm going to look back at this video and also cringe. And I feel like I've accepted that you know like i feel like it's fine to accept that like every you're changing constantly and that's a good thing like if i look back at my videos and think that's not a good video that's a good thing because i know because like i can tell because now my videos are better do you get the point hopefully you understand what i'm saying but like i feel like it's good to have that sort of like knowledge of like i'm doing better like i can tell that i look better i can tell i'm more confident i can tell this i can tell that i can tell my video quality is better i can tell i'm posting more i can tell this whatever and like i feel like that's like a really positive thing so i personally don't think it's a bad thing to cringe at your old self I think that's a good thing. I think, you know what? Go cringe at yourself, okay? Because you know what? It really helps. Like, I look back at my old videos and think that was terrible. But you know what? It helps me be better next time. It helps me think, next time, I'm not going to do this. Next time, I'm not going to do that. Because it really does help. So I'm just saying, if you ever want to cringe at yourself, do it. Because it really does help. Anyways, so off topic. So we're pretty much getting past the orange sim already. So this sim is called Olive. And she is, um, honestly, I wanted to go, because like the first sim was more like model. Oh my god, I totally forgot about the red sim. My bad. Anyways, the red sim had like this really cute outfit. It's so cute. I've never used it before. It's like a big oversized coat 
coat, but it looks so like modelly and hot. It's like half and half and it just looks so good. And then like some big boots and it just very screams model to me. And I know that doesn't really mean anything probably, but like to me, that's the only aesthetic that I really know. Like, you know what I mean? It just screams like, like, like it rich, you know, that's the way of describing it, but like rich in like a good way, you know? So anyway, so with the orange sim, I went with like more of like a skatery kind of style because even though I did want to try different aesthetics for these sims, obviously I couldn't do a different aesthetic for every single one. Obviously I had to, you know, go back to my roots for some of them. So I went with like a kind of like a skater aesthetic and like kind of like streetwear. And obviously that's like my favorite aesthetic or like one of my personal favorite aesthetics. I wear streetwear stuff all the time. And it's like, I just love streetwear stuff. So I definitely liked doing that sim a lot. And honestly her actual face shape, I tried really hard to change up and I'm really happy because I think she looks so stunning. And like her face, the actual shape of her face, I've never done a shape like that or like not recently anyways. I tend to go for like a very specific face shape. And it's one of those things that like I do subconsciously and I just don't really notice that I'm doing it. And then I look back and I'm like, oh, I probably should do different face shapes. And like, I just don't really realize it. So I'm sorry if I do that a lot. It's like when I do like those um same face syndrome videos like on TikTok and stuff and I look at them and I'm like, oh crap, they all have very similar faces. Like when you don't, when you put them like side by side, it really makes you realize. But anyways, so yeah, I really like that aesthetic and her face is so gorgeous. But yeah, so the yellow sim now, sorry, I'm kind of rushing. I'm just, this is, and my voice talks really fast if it, in case it wasn't obvious. Like I literally got a comment today and I love comments like this so much and they made me laugh. Everyone, so many people, are, are you guys watching this in 0 0.5, 0 0.75 speed right now? Are you guys watching it in that time? Because a lot of people watch my videos in 0 0.75 speed as I found out. Um, I feel like that's really crazy to me because to me, the way I talk is a perfect speed for me to listen to. Like whenever I watch my own videos back, this is a perfectly fine speed and like I feel like I can understand everything I'm saying and like everything. But a lot of the time people can't watch my videos unless they slow down, which I just find really interesting to me because like I just, I have, my brain doesn't function. If, if someone's talking slow, I can't watch it. Like, I'm sorry, I just can't watch it. I cannot deal with someone talking slow. Like I need speed. I need my brain to be thinking at all times. I need someone to be talking really, really fast. It's like, um, you know, Madeline on TikTok, you know her, she talks really, really fast and like she had talks at the perfect speed and I really like that. Whereas like someone that speaks slow, I just can't concentrate on my voice to like my, my ears. I just don't, I don't know. I'm just one of those people that really needs like a real speed. Like, so I feel like some people don't uh, like that. So I'm really sorry if you guys don't like that. But honestly, the way that I talk is the way that I like to talk. And it's kind of the way I talk in real life as well. It's one of those things that I feel like I don't really notice that I do that much, but I definitely do do it. But anyways, do do. Ha, <laughs> funny. Anyways, um, so yeah, the like, yeah, the same. I kind of want to go for like, I, I kind of went for like 90s. I feel like I kind of want to go for like something that like maybe like Phoebe, Phoebe Buffet would wear or someone like that. I don't know. It was kind of like that similar vibe. So the yellow looked so gorgeous. This hair was so, so stunning. And then the sunglasses on the head and then this outfit. Oh my God. It took so long to literally do. Like, not gonna lie, these sims took me so long. I was like saying to myself, I was like, I'm gonna limit myself to like 20 minutes per sim. And I ended up spending three and a half hours making these sims. The one sim took me literally an hour, <laughs> which was embarrassing. Um, and I just really struggled with a lot of these sims. I'm not gonna lie. I What I basically did as well is normally before I make a sim, I have a, a set aesthetic or not quite an, a set aesthetic, but like I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna go for. With these sims, I did not. I had no idea what I was gonna go for. And I enjoyed that way more. For some reason, having a set aesthetic really takes me out of it. And like, I just I like the creativity of just coming up with an aesthetic based on the sim. Rather than coming up with a sim based on the aesthetic, I came up with an aesthetic based on the sim, if that makes any sense to you. But like, I kind of, it, whatever the sim looked like, if their style fitted them, I liked that. Whereas I normally do the other way around, if that makes any sense, hopefully it does. But I like doing like that way more. So for this green sim, I went for, honestly, she's probably one of my favorites. I went for like a, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's cyberpunk, or at least I tried to go for that. So I'm not very versed in like different actual subculture, like goth or like different, oh no, cyber goth, not cyberpunk, sorry. Like I'm not very good at different, very specific subcultures or sub, sub genres of aesthetic. So I kind of struggle with stuff like that, but there is something about the way that this sim looks that is so cool. And like the, the green works so perfectly for that aesthetic. And like, I went through a lot of different ideas and like different things that I could go for, but for some reason, just that just worked so well. So this hair, oh my God, it's stunning. And then I went with like some headphones and just like the outfit. Oh my God, these green tights. I definitely like searched up some like different outfits that like a, a cyber goth or whatever, because honestly, like I said, it's not really, I'm not versed in like very specific subcultures or uh, subgenres. So I do try to like do them a little bit, but I definitely do struggle with them a little bit more than just like, like if someone just told me to make like a uh, alt outfit, I can do that because I can go with any kind of alt aesthetic. Whereas with like a very specific one, I find it a lot harder because it's like, I'm kind of going for a very niche one and it's very difficult for me to do. But I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think she turned out really cool. So hopefully you guys agree in the comments. Also let me know which one of your favorite in the comments as well, because honestly, I can't really decide. I feel like my favorites probably are, I really like, honestly, I really like all of them. I really like red. I really, really like red. I think because like she was like the first one, she kind of set the standard for all of the other Sims, you know? And then I also, honestly, I like all of them. I think red and green are probably my favorites. And oh, also pink. I love pink as well, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I definitely have tried my best to do a little bit of different looking Sims day. So yeah, Um, but moving now on to blue. So blue is, honestly, this one was like quite a difficult one because I did not, again, I didn't know what kind of set to go for, but I ended up kind of going for like, I don't know how to describe this, but I never go for puffer jackets. I think it's because 
because I'm from England and every single person with a puffer jacket is a chav or a road man and they always terrify me like I'm 18 years old I should not be scared of like these 12 year old road men who vape um at the corner of my street but like I can't help it they are terrifying I they literally just they'll look at me and they'll they'll just like they I like I don't you know it's like one of those things where like I shouldn't admit my fear of them like I shouldn't I shouldn't I would shouldn't show that, that I've got fear but like I just can't deal with like like teenagers at all anyways so when they're in like a group it just terrifies me I know I'm a teenager like I know I'm a teenager but like you know the kind of you know what I mean but it's like anyways puffer jacket so because I don't normally go with puffer jackets because of that reasoning um I wanted to go for one for this sim and I gave her like a bucket hat and I don't normally go for bucket hats because for some reason the sims are weird I don't know if it's just me but for some reason always bucket hats they just are always are weird I also have a thing with like bucket hats in real life because I have one of my own and I really like it but for some reason on my own self I don't like it like I just don't think I suit hats I'm not a hat person it's not for me it's the same with headphones headphones do not suit me I don't know if it's my hairstyle my face shape I don't know what it is but I feel like I don't do hats I used to wear a hat all the time a yellow hat I used to wear a yellow beanie literally every single day of my life but for some reason I just kind of stopped after like my sensory issues got worse I mean better sorry and then now here we are but like I just can't wear hats I just don't find them I don't find them very flattering on me at all like they're just not my vibe I even had a beret at one point like I was a full on hat person and then I realized I just don't suit them so like I feel like people that do suit hats like I love you you know because like I just could never but anyway so yeah I really like how she turned out like I just feel like it was very different to my like normal sort of aesthetic and like my normal vibe and like I don't know I mean I know all of these things are very different but like I feel like especially with like the puffer jacket like I've never done anything like that before in my life like I've literally have that put I've had that CC in my game for years and I've literally never used it like it's just one of those things that just get kind of sits there the reason why by the way I went for all these different aesthetics and stuff is because basically the other day I was doing a clean out of CC and of hair sorry of hair CC and I went through and I clicked on every single hair and I put them all in and then I got rid of all the ones I didn't want and I got rid of like I assume it's stupid like 300 400 hairs and I really enjoyed doing that but it made me realize when I was clicking on all these hairs that I have so much CC that I download that just gets lost it gets lost in the mix and I never click it because it's just always been there and I'm just like oh it's not gonna be nice when I click it and it made me realize no actually click it because I have kind of this thing I don't know if this is quite a common thing for people but basically if like I download new CC from like say like Sims Trouble, Clumsy Alien, um, OK Roo or something I will use that hair for like a few weeks or something and I'll like love it but then after that time for some reason like I just don't use it ever again like I just don't use it ever again because I think I overuse it to the point of like I don't want to use it ever anymore and for some reason I do that and my brain tells me to do that and I don't know why I do that it's such an idiotic thing because I have all this CC that I never use but I end up going back to the same hairs every single time I end up going back to the same crease every single time but this for these sims I tried to like venture out for like hairs that I've never used before and I really am glad I did that because it honestly makes such a difference like I'm definitely gonna start doing that with more of my create sims now like actually clicking on all of these hairs I've never used because there is so much good stuff in there that like I a lot of the time when I find like a new creator especially I bulk download like all of their stuff and then when I go back into game I kind of just forget that it exists or at least like I find one of them that I like and then I'll never use any of the others and it's really dumb and so I definitely want to get myself out of doing that and I really definitely found that I did that for these sims especially like for example the orange sim I literally have never used that hair before the red sim I've had that hair in my game for a while I've never used that one before I've never used the green hair one before I've never even used the blue one before like there were so many that I've just never used on sims I don't think I end up using the, the I don't think I've even used the purple one before like actually no I didn't end up using the purple one Shh, it's okay but there's definitely like a lot of the time where I just kind of forget that CC exists and like I end up just downloading a new one thinking oh I need to download new CC to get my love of sims back but in reality all I need to do is use CC that I've never used before and it really helps anyways so yeah purple sim so with the purple sim honestly biggest struggle she took me an hour to make it was actually terrible I'm embarrassed um so she was literally just so difficult I think it was because like I wanted to go for this certain aesthetic with like this kind of like button up shirt like kind of like mask a woman like I don't know how to describe it but like I just really like the aesthetic and I've seen a lot on TikTok a lot of people have this kind of aesthetic and it just looks so good but for some reason like the button up shirts weren't working none of the trousers are good because like purple trousers who has purple trousers like I, it's, it's so difficult to find in the sims so I really struggled to do that and like everything was just not going well I was just struggling so so much but I ended up just ended up going for like this outfit which I think it's, it's kind of simple it's kind of like one of my least favorite out of these guys probably the least favorite because it was just very like last minute I was just like kind of kicking myself at the end because I was just like getting really mad like I was getting to the point of just like anger because I just could not figure out this sim and it was just peeing me off so I ended up just kind of going for one that was just there you know but I think she turned out really cool anyways and like I, I also with these sims last time I did this I ended up having some of the sims have like black hair with like orange streaks through it or this and with orange with blue highlights but with these sims I actually ended up going for full colored hair except for I guess the blue sim but pretty much it's full colored because I don't know I just thought it'd be kind of fun so finally we're moving on to the pink sim so the pink sim is again one of my favorites I, I, I mean I feel like I, I feel like I like all of them you know it's not like I have like a select favorite it's just that like some of them have more of a like more of my kind of I don't know I don't, I don't know how to describe it but I just really like them but anyway so for the pink sim I really want to go for like this kind of like cutesy kind of vibe honestly 
I not like again I do kind of I don't really do this very often like it's kind of like one of the texts I do struggle to do because it's just not me you know like it's just not me at all it's like the opposite of how I dress like I do not dress in anything like this but this whole pink attire honestly she's the most like color one if that makes sense like all of the other sims they all had like black accents white accents whatever and like majority of the outfit was like one color but there was still like the accents but with this sim pretty much everything she's wearing is pink or very light pink and I absolutely love that so I end up going for this like really cute pink beret I end up actually going for the hair that I used on the purple sim for ages but I end up swapping it out because I think this hair is so cute and I just absolutely love it then I went for this really cute pink beret this top is so adorable again one of those things I just have in my game that I just never use and I was really glad when I found it and then this skirt is so cute with the floral pattern it makes me think of like a bed sheet or something I know that sounds really weird but it really it's really cute and then just some really cute high heart little leggings and I just love how she turned out as well so let me guys think in the comments be down below let me have a favorite as well like I said I don't really have like a select favorite but I definitely have a few that like more kind of I don't know more my personal uh preference but honestly I like them all the purple sim was definitely the biggest struggle but I think in the end how if it turned out pretty cool it was just I'm just really bad with like different aesthetics like I really try my best so hope you guys can see that I also definitely want to do this more where I like try out different aesthetics and like very like niche ones because like I just never do that so yeah let me know guys in the comments down below let me know if you have any other challenges as well because this is one of my favorites but like I don't want to keep doing it it's the same as like eight sims one base like I want to do that again but I feel like I've only just done it and like I don't want to keep doing it I don't like overuse an idea but it's just like these kind of challenges like kind of get me into playing the sims more um because I've kind of been a bit of a rut with like individual sims so like when I make them all as a group and I've got a specific color scheme it makes me just kind of know what I'm doing a little bit better but anyways remember to like subscribe to if you want and I'll see you guys in a video I love you guys